Hi, and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today, we're gonna to be talking about how to perform a vibration analysis and condition monitoring using the FAG Smart Check Vibration Measuring Device. And there's only one guy I know who can talk about that, and that's our buddy from Scheffler, Jim Azulina. Jim, welcome, buddy. How are Thanks, you? Welcome Tom. back, man. Great, good to You're see you. You're a regular. I haven't seen you in a while. How's everything going? Yeah, great. Awesome. Well, great. you know, um, we have got a motor, and we've got this little device right here, and uh, it's called SmartCheck, and I want you to tell us all about it so we can let them know how cool SmartCheck is. First of all, Tom, condition monitoring through vibration analysis is a major component of reliability-based maintenance as it is used to detect early precursors to machine failure. This allows machinery to be repaired or replaced before an expensive breakdown occurs. Industrial maintenance practitioners are keenly aware of the cost savings and many other benefits of including predictive maintenance to avoid costly downtime. And we know unplanned downtime is going to cost you a lot of money, you know, and, and then that's the bottom line. We want to try to do the best we can to keep those machines running. Absolutely. Unfortunately, traditional condition monitoring systems can be complicated and expensive, requiring specifically trained experts to operate them. But Scheffler has created the FAG Smart Check to make vibration analysis and condition monitoring easy and accessible to everyone. Okay, and I have to admit, honestly, when I heard you were coming on the program, I was like, okay, there's gonna be some intimidating, oversized piece of machinery. It's not gonna fit in the studio. And I'm just wondering, can this really give us all the readings that we need? Absolutely. Yeah. Although it's small, uh -huh. the SmartCheck device, it's a full self-contained online monitoring system at a very reasonable price. That makes it a cost-effective solution for monitoring equipment like motors, pumps, gearboxes, fans, and so much more. All right, you got the floor, Jim. I want you to tell me all about this device. Okay. At the top, there is an LED status and alarm light. On the bottom left side, there's a reset button that is mostly used for resetting alarms. Notice the teach button to the right that activates the teach mode. Mm -hmm. The unit has three main interfaces. Top right, there's an ethernet and power over ethernet port. To the left of that is the interface for inputs and outputs, digital as well as analog, while the power supply port is located at the bottom. Wow, all those different inputs, outputs, unputs, downputs. In, in, I mean, the SmartCheck offers a variety of monitoring configurations beyond the basic teach mode. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, let's say I have a motor. Right? This is going to be my motor right here. Um, I want to use SmartCheck. How do I install it? Just like this. You're too funny. Okay, no. Okay, you can't just do that and set it on the motor. Yes. We use the magnetic base for the purpose of this demonstration, and this method will work if you plan on moving smart check in the future. Wow. Of course, the best way to mount the smart check for a permanent monitoring solution is to drill and tap a hole directly into the top of your machine in the vertical direction. You could also attach a mounting pad with adhesive and then mount the smart check to the pad, but always be sure to remove any paint from where you are mounting the smart check to ensure good metal to metal contact to get the very best signal. But this is a viable solution. You actually can do it. That's right. Okay, all right, we what's could, next? Well, to use it right out of the box, we go right into teach mode. This is the quickest setup method. After you've installed the unit on a piece of equipment that is in good operating condition, press the teach mode button. The unit begins to read 1,000 data points. It will then calculate the alarms and pre-alarms based on the data collected. So smart check is kind of like a little magnetic doctor. It, it learns what the motor should be doing when it's operating healthy or correctly. That, exactly. And alerts you when the motor's health begins to change. That's right. Ah. And when the motor's health begins to deteriorate, the smart check status light will signal a pre-alarm or alarm. If you wanted to perform a more in-depth analysis, you could always hook up a computer and communicate with the unit and configure all different types of different options such as adding a speed signal as an input and configuring the unit to only take measurements at a certain speed. You could also fire an output, which may activate a separate light when it goes into alarm. Or you could view the vibration spectrums, waveforms, trend data, and so many other parameters. SmartCheck also comes with stored templates for all types of components, bearings, and different types of machinery. Plus, you can even download the app, which could give you the ability to check your alarms and pre-alarms right on your smartphone. What a great solution. You know, you guys at Scheffler have thought of just about everything. Jim, thank you so much again. I thank appreciate you, it. Jim Azalina with Scheffler. That is the FAG Smart Check Vibration Measuring Device. And 
That's all it takes right there. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, I can't believe that this little thing does so much, but it does. I'll tell you what, Scheffler has got all the answers. Uh, just call your nearest Motion Industries branch location, talk to a rep, and uh, they'll talk to you about this and, and how it can help your practical applications. Uh, we didn't have our PPE on today, not for this demo, but I had it on the table here to remind me to tell you that if you are actually doing this with the motors inside your facility, make sure you wear the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. Safety is job number one. Job number two, check out more videos on our website at mihowto.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Tom Clark. We'll see you next time.